My name is DJ Spar, and I'm an electric guitarist and composer, and I am the guitar soloist for Michael Dougherty's G's Band, which will have its West Coast premiere by the Cabrillo Festival Orchestra on August 13th. I was a student of Michael Dougherty's at the University of Michigan for graduate school, and wor working with him as a composition student, I, I played an awful lot of guitar, and actually part of my uh, dissertation was I, I wrote an, a guitar concerto, which I performed with the orchestra. And just naturally, in being in that environment, I played more and more guitar. So I think when he was commissioned by Alabama Symphony for a piece that involved electric guitar, he thought of me to be the electric guitar performer. So that is how my, I came to premiere the electric guitar concerto, G's Bend. G's Bend is an area of a, of a river in Alabama. It's called G's Bend. It's this little crook in the river. And in the culture there are, are African-American women that do beautiful, amazing quilts. And uh, Michael Dougherty went and visited G G's Bend and actually sat in the room while they were making the quilts. And that's what influenced the, the four movements of the concerto. And I have a book that shows some of the examples of, of the G's Bend quilts that was given to me by Neil Gittleman, who conducted the premiere. And you can see on the cover um, one of the quilts. There are a few pages here. It's kind of like show and tell. So and they're you know they're magnificent quilts and actually at the premiere the, there was a tour the quilts were on tour and they were in the auditorium and people could could see the quilts uh, after the concert and before. And actually the way the piece is structured, Michael Dougherty used a lot of different influences from southern rock and roll guitarists as well as people like Bill Frizzell and Pat Metheny. And um, if you when you look in the part here, um, the first instruction is for a, a piece. The first one is called House Top. And it says, Jimi Hendrix guitar sound with fuzz box distortion and volume pedal. So in this movement, it has um, notated guitar music, but then also parts where you improvise in, in more of a jazz or rock style, which you would have the, the chord and the kind of key that you would solo in. And then so that's really great for the guitar player because the nature of being a, certainly a rock and roll guitarist is, is improvising. And that there's a great interplay between that. And the second movement is called grandmother's dream and that reminds me in my mind I always think of like kind of a hot summer night porgy and best kind of little you know it's got to be hot down there right so this is the uh, movement that has a really slow beginning and then just soft only strings behind it and the guitar has a be beautiful melody that that is echoed in the violins and then the third movement is called washboard which has, uh, believe it or not, a washboard. And that says, Southern blues guitar sound not distorted and pure in tone. So in that sound, it's kind of a chunky, um, tinny sound. And I, I sort of try to pretend I'm a washboard. And in this movement, I really accompany the winds, who have a, a, a melody. It's kind of a blues progression, a little more modern take, take on a blues progression. And in the fourth movement, my absolute favorite is called Chicken Pickin'. And that says, Bo Diddley, Almond Brothers, Southern Rock Guitar Sound. And that comes from a, a, a kind of a country music technique where you uh, kind of pluck the strings with your thumb and you also play with, you use a pick and the other uh, fingers to do like, kind of, kind of a, yeah, that would be a, an example where it would be great to have my guitar here. So you'll have to come to the concert and uh, check it out. Well, for me, the experience of playing the Michael Dougherty's concerto has been rewarding uh, in, in many ways. One, one way is that just the opportunity to um, be able to play guitar in, in front of a large amount of people. Uh, my sort of dream growing up was to be an arena rock guitarist, so the, probably the least obvious way to do that would be to play in a, in a concert hall with an orchestra. But uh, it's fun because people really get into the piece and it, it's exciting and there's, there's not been a concert where it hasn't had a, a great response. Um, Additionally, as a composer, it's really great to actually rehearse with the orchestra and get to stand on stage and hear all of the great sounds that come from all the amazing orchestras I've had an opportunity to play the piece with. And in addition to performing the guitar concerto, Michael Dougherty's guitar concerto, I'll be part of Music in the Mountains, which is on August 11th, and I'll be playing um, Julia, Florida by Augustin Barrios Mangore, as well as my own piece, Vim Hock at Calm, which is for electric guitar and violin with... Um, my friend from Michigan, who's the acting concertmaster this summer, Justin Bruns. I have been a big fan of the Cabrillo Festival for many years because I know they're supporters of, obviously, what, what my passion 
is, is uh, contemporary music, and I've followed all of the composer readings that they do with the conductor program, and I, every year, you know, you click on and see what's happening and what Marin also is programming at Cabrillo, so it, it's very, very exciting for me to, to finally be a part of it, and looking forward to it.